Welcome back green light fans, especially Hitch and Toe. I've got Series 10 brand new on the shelves now, July 2017. Four awesome truck and trailer combinations here. A couple of my favorites as well. This big old F100 and pop-up camp trailer. Nice to see the boat is back in action with the Homeland Security Ford F-150 and a Ford Explorer with the Special Operations Command trailer. Speaking of trailers, also going to be looking at a brand new sealed green light box, Hitched Series 1, Hitched Homes Series 1, right there. Six 164 scale trailers that you can pull behind your trucks or cars that have the green light hitch on them. And four, I believe, are new castings that we haven't seen before. Some awesome paint jobs, so let's get into that. We're going to crack that open. Chance of a green machine. But first, let's look at Hitch and Tow Series 10. First out of this incredibly popular series of vehicles, we are going to be opening up the 1968 Volkswagen Type 2 double cab pickup and teardrop trailer. Get that out of the package for you. A quick look at the packaging first. All of them are the same. It's got an itemized list on the back of all four vehicles. However, I do believe we have seen several recolors of them at this point. Nice little piece. Very authentic paint job and details on this truck. And the trailer, of course, has that opening back spot there to reveal a little kitchen, kitchenette type thing. A jack post, which is a bit large maybe for this trailer, but nonetheless looks pretty cool. Really cool, it has matching wheels for the trailer and the bus. The hitch works well. All metal truck. No opening parts that I can tell on the truck itself. But that is a really nice little Volkswagen. As I remove the 1970 Ford F100 and pop-up camper trailer from the plastic packaging, I'd just like to point out what a nice job Greenlight has done to ensure that these come as protected as possible. All the delicate little parts. Check out that little plastic door protecting the tow mirrors on the pickup truck. I find that it's best to kind of pinch down the sticker where it has the label vehicle so you can slide the truck straight out the side of the packaging. And of course this one has an opening hood. Very nice details. Don't forget your little trailer jack post. The 1970 Ford F100 and pop-up camper trailer. Lots of details on this set. Big trailer, mostly all metal except for the pop-up canvas part which is made of plastic. The metal removable lid. The all metal trailer with featuring a lot of details and tampa work on it. Propane tank. Great texturing for the canvas portion of this trailer. And as you can see that top piece is removable so that when it's in travel mode, see it's got a few pins that line up there, and you want to make sure your doors line up when you're attempting to put it together. But in travel mode you can reduce the pop-up trailer down to much sleeker profile. And a quick look at all the details inside of the camper trailer itself. Nice little piece. The truck, opening hood on it, revealing a detailed engine. Tow mirrors on it as well. Chrome bumpers, hubcaps, and a great matching two-tone paint job with its camper trailer. There are a lot of parts in this 2015 Ford F-100 and Homeland Security Marine Enforcement Police Boat and Trailer. That is a mouthful. So let's just go ahead and remove the truck itself. Nice big new Ford. Rolls very well. We'll get the little hitch thing later. And the boat. The boat actually is removable from the trailer as I found out once before. It's just got a couple screws holding it on. My tire seems to be falling off. Not an issue. Just seat that back on the rim. Good as new. Very detailed boat as you can see. 
great police bow rider all metal trailer the boat doesn't float I tried that as well and pardon the crunching creaking and cracking of the plastic the yellow over top of it get all the little parts out of the boat plastic thing you can protect your boat for storage and or travel what a great set looks great out of the packaging the black and white is a really nice offset combination nice big tampa work on it details terrific looking wheels the details on the wheels are amazing Let's see if we can zoom in for extra magnification little Ford emblem in the center proper bolt pattern and Wrangler off-road tires what a terrific model this is all metal of course we've got the 2016 Ford Explorer New York Fire Department Tampos with the Special Operations Command trailer check out the door which folds down revealing a very detailed wood grain type floor air conditioning on the roof metal base plastic top all those little painted rivets done so nicely the textured sides showing the panels just like the real trailers look like and the actual textured diamond plate look on the front beautiful beautiful fire department trailer and really cool matching truck Tons and tons of tampa work all over this thing. Details such as the license plate. Looks just like the real deal. All right, let's go ahead and open up this sealed box of green light trailers. What will we find inside? Perhaps a green machine? Would be nice. There are the trailers. Not sure if it's been open or not. It may have been. First trailer out, brand new. Look at the artwork on these. First of all, Hitched Homes. Series 1 as if I had a drive-in. Really cool. 2016 Winnebago Winnie Drop 1710. Get these all out of their package. <laughs> I love the artwork. Check out all the trailers you can pick up on the back, which you'll see coming on this box. Hitched 1958 Catolac DeVille Traveler Trailer. Catolac, I like that. It's got a little awning, which we're going to see how that works. Set, set it all up. It's got little stands and everything I can see. Includes awning. Some assembly required. Nice, it's got a little uh, artwork piece separate in the packaging, I can tell. Let's see what that's all about when we open them. And another new casting, and it's a green machine! 1959 Siesta Travel Trailer. Green machine. Look at that green metallic base, those green hubcaps, green jack stand. Wow, that's why I love buying from this uh, this particular person I get these vehicles from because they don't open up their boxes it's absolutely awesome so your chances of getting a green machine are actually authentic instead of the typical sellers which just scalp them all by opening the box and resealing it wicked hitch homes series one also includes an awning some assembly required airstream 16 foot bambi look at that Looks like it'll be a plastic awning. It's probably not going to be canvas, but that's okay. That is not a new casting. Like, whoa, that's an old casting, but new to, new to have an awning. That's something new for that casting. And here also is a pre-existing, very well-used casting. The Shasta 15-foot air flight trailer. Very nice. No awning with that one. This one's an extra heavy piece. Very very thick metal on that one and what have we got here oh another Cadillac DeVille trailer 
I got two of the same trailer in this assortment, which I've never actually had that happen when I buy a box of green light vehicles, but it may have had something to do with the inclusion of a green machine trailer, maybe somehow mixed up the assortment. Either way, I am missing the 1964 Winnebago 216 travel trailer. That one will not be in the review. And I won't be opening up this one either because it's a green machine, so that one also won't be fully reviewed. Those two trailers, including this one and the one I'm missing, I will pick up at a later video and, and finish the review on those. For now, I've got four trailers to open up for you. I'm still going to open them up and review them. And let's get started with one of these uh, new trailers, those Cadillac DeVille travel trailers. What a nice little trailer. Very heavy, all metal, rubber tires of course. Cool, cone-shaped chrome hubcaps. Check those out. Super shiny. Transparent windows. Little clips there where the awning's going to go in. And then you've got the jack, of course. And this opening and closing awning at the front of the trailer. So let's just put that down and get the awning on it. The awning is a plastic piece. Which just, it looks, just kind of clips in there. Pretty firmly, I would say. There we go. We're all set to go camping. Let's take an aerial look at the awning now. Candy stripe awning. Three dimensional, too. It's got the drip edge all the way around it. Three support poles. Pretty firm little piece. And let's hook it up to a hitch and tow vehicle now. Just use the big old Ford. Now you're probably not going to want to tow this thing with your awning on, so we'll just put the awning in the back of the truck. Check out this truck and trailer. Well, it's really just the trailer I opened up, but I've already gone ahead and hooked up to this police enforcement truck from the Hitch and Tow Series 10, just to give you an idea of how sharp a black pickup truck pulling this modern camper trailer looks amazing details on this little trailer very realistic looks just like the real deal tampos all the way around technology on the roof antennas lots of parts all metal trailer with rubber tires assembled with screws appears to have transparent windows Very sharp piece. Ah, the good old Shasta trailer. Yes, we have seen it many, many times released by Greenlight at this point in time. But, not in purple. I think every other shade of color under the rainbow. However, we now have a purple and white two-tone Shasta trailer. Also all metal. Propane tank, transparent windows. Little chrome retro fins on it. Nice little trailer. We'll have to find a vehicle that matches it to pretend to pull it. The little Volkswagen here. Doesn't quite look right. Need a white vehicle or, if there is one, a purple vehicle. The Airstream is another trailer we've seen before. I've just pulled out one of my examples to do a direct comparison. Some of them feature the transparent windows. This is a previous release. Not quite sure which Hitch and Toe series at this time. And then other ones have the tampo over windows, reflecting blinds and curtains and whatnot. So both trailers are the same. The only difference here now is that this one has been pre-drilled with four holes so as you can attach your four-pin awning. A different style of awning attachment from the, the uh, DeVille trailer we saw with the two tabs. This actually works better in my opinion. A cleaner function. Four pins on that. Very nice awning. So we've got two trails here with an awning. I don't know if the other trail that I don't have for you has an awning. I'll have to uh, look into that and when I get it, as I said, I will review it for you. So these are really cool. We'll hook up to, let's say, the old pickup again. The good old pickup. 
go for a roll. Stay tuned for plenty more Greenlight videos coming. I have a huge box of all the newest stuff that came out in June and July. And there will be more new stuff on its way, so stay tuned. Happy hunting, everyone.